Jeff Fro from Two Hacks Garage. Well, as you can tell, I'm back in my garage and I've been extremely busy. What do we have going on? Well, I've got a 440 Mopar over here for Cope Racing Transmissions that's getting a basic refresh for his awesome shop truck that happens to look just like his dad's. Um, I've got my DZ292 project. This is a sneak peek because I don't have any content out on this yet, but it's coming soon. And I've got my 311 cubic inch small block Chevy Ripper that's going into my nostalgia front engine dragster sitting right over there. What's this video about? Well, it's not about that Mopar. It's not about my DZ292 yet. It's about this engine right here. Rotating assembly's done, oiling system's done, ISKI cam installed, harmonic balancer on, all that fun jazz. So what's next, guys? Well, what's next? You saw in the previous videos, we were checking piston to valve clearance. Yep, it's time to install the cylinder heads. Now, mind you, I do have set two sets of cylinder heads. One of them haven't been completed yet. My friend Doug from Dougster Wolverine Garage, really awesome guy, very knowledgeable, makes you laugh, makes you smile. Go check his channel out. He got me a set of awesome old fuel heads that are 202 160 completely hogged out. However, I'm going to completely redo those and those will end up on this engine down the road. But for now, what I'm doing is I'm going to be running a pair of aluminum heads for this engine and they are from Promax. Um, I didn't really know much about this company and I was doing some research on cylinder heads specifically for the build I have going on, trying to match port size, intake size, valve size, all that to what I currently have going on. And I found this company, made a call, talked to a guy named Steve, and he really hooked me up. He answered all my questions. And best part is they set the cylinder heads up exactly the way I wanted them. With that, I'm rambling. Let's show you what these cylinder heads look like and go over the specs. All right, so here's the cylinder heads here. Don't mind all those pistons. Those are for that 440. Um, these are actually a really quality made cylinder head. They're done right down in the great state of Alabama, which is actually one of my favorite states to visit. Um, cool shores, all the beaches along there. Everything's really cool about it. So these are the Promax 183 cylinder heads. Uh, it's deep port exhaust, as you can tell right there. Um, they're 183cc intake runners, 202-160 stainless valves. Uh, these are set up for 575 max lift, hydraulic flat tap at springs that are made by Pack Racing. Um, they do have the raised push rod guide plates and the screw-in studs, and those are 3 8 uh, Straight plug configuration, 72cc chambers, steel retainers, Tell you what, guys, these are set up for exactly the way I want it. And remember, I'm only 311 cubic inches with these cylinder heads here and the pistons I have and how far they're in the hole or zero deck, whatever you want to say, because um, they're really close. Uh, these are going to make about 11, 11 and a quarter to one. Um, I'm really digging these cylinder heads. Not only were they extremely affordable, they are quality made. And I'm telling you, you give these guys a call. And I'm not endorsed by them, nothing like that. But if you give these guys a call, they will walk you through everything and they will help you get what you need, get it set up exactly how you want it, and they get them shipped to your door in about a week. So yeah, there's the cylinder heads and we're going to get those installed. And what we're going to be using is, of course, ARP fasteners with ARP fastener lube. And the head gaskets are a Felpro 1000 and let's see here. I believe these are the 1004. Yes, Felpro 1004 head gaskets. So yeah, we got a little bit of work to do. We're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and get started on that because I'm rambling. And you know what, guys? I need these cylinder heads on my engine. All right. So first thing first, what I'm end up doing, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and clean the deck surface. Make sure the pistons are clean. Make sure the bore is clean. I want everything clean on this. Um, reason being is you don't want any junk down in there. From there, I'm going to get the head gaskets on. I'm going to put the cylinder heads on, but I'm not going to torque them down. We're going to go over that torque sequence. However, I made a mistake. I said I was going to be using ARP fastener lube. Well, I normally would be, but I just had a little bit of a brain fart there. Um, the cylinder head bolts actually go into water jackets on most of these. So I'm going to be using Primatex with PTFE to get that sealed up. And I know the bottom ones, they don't. However, I want accurate, consistent torque rating. So all my bolts are going to get the Permatex with the PTFE on it. Once I get things mocked up and kind of snug in place, I'm going to talk about the torque sequence and how we're going to torque those down.
All right, so I have everything just snug down. Like I said, I used the PTFE on all those because those bolts go into water jackets. Um, what you saw me do at the end there is I was writing numbers on the cylinder head bolts on all of them. That's the torque sequence. Guys, I don't do this every day. And you know what? There is an actual torque sequence to this. So I did. I referred to my notes. I got the torque sequence. And then I transposed those numbers from the torque sequence I found in my Chilton manual to the cylinder heads. So as I'm going through and torquing these, I know which sequence I need to go in. I also know per ARP's uh, paperwork, I need to go to 70 foot-pounds, roughly three equal steps, 30, 50, and 70. So I'm going to have to use two torque wrenches on this because my main one doesn't go down to 30. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get all these snug down to 30. I'm going to go to 50, and then I'm going to go to 70. And you're probably wondering why I'm doing this before I get the other side done. That's eh, pretty simple, guys. That PTFE, it kind of sets up somewhat quick, and I want to make sure I get to it before you know it can give me a false reading or anything like that. Just one of those safety precautions. So yeah, that's why I write those numbers on there. I don't do it every day, and that's a whole lot of numbers to remember. I better get to work. All right, so everything is torqued down. And if you guys know me, I have a notebook. I keep notes of everything. So I'm going to make a notation that I got everything torqued down. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to replicate what I just did here on the other side. Once I'm done, I'm going to let it sit for a little bit. And I'm going to go back through with my torque wrench again and just confirm they're still all at 70. With that, I better get back to work. Ah, so there we have it. Pretty straightforward, guys. You know what? Really, it's just about taking your time, having the right tools, knowing the proper torque sequence. And if you don't, a little tip right there. Just, you know, take a silver marker and write the numbers on there. Like I said, I don't do this every day. Little tips like that really help out. So, yeah, the Promax 183 cylinder heads are installed. I really dig them. They're really high quality. I like them. Very budget friendly. And their customer service is absolutely, absolutely awesome. And I know I mentioned earlier, but they're in the state of Alabama, and I love the state of Alabama. Anyway, I'm rambling. Cylinder heads are installed. Next step, what I'm going to do is, in another video, I'm going to get the lifters in, I'm going to get the rockers on, get the push rods in, get all that buttoned up so we can get the intake on and all that fun jazz, because I really need to get these engines broken in as soon as possible. Um, the transmission for this is ready to go. I have my torque converter. need a couple other odds and ends, but yep, cylinder heads are installed. They look great. I'm sure they'll perform great. And you know what? Installation was a breeze. 2X Garage. We'll see you in the next one.